I should probably sit in the front. So I can watch the that is anticipated by residents hey, and friends of South Pennsylvania to conclude the summer. Well, I'm not going to do my summer. Buddy, it's parade time. Parade with new returns and new entries mess this all gathered to celebrate our theme, Once Upon a Parade. The theme was chosen I'm not going to be able to see much comments. But you guys wanted to see the parade, so it's about to start. So as soon as it starts, I'll flip the camera, and then you guys could watch the parade with me. Welcome, welcome. Labor Day parade in South Plainfield. Bates going to be in the parade. Assisted by his oh my god, I just realized the phone's not that charged. If it dies, I'm half charged, so hopefully it'll be enough just to see Larry. I charged it. I don't know. I thought I charged it. Say hi. Hello. Bella, Tori, Leah, and Kevin. Okay, we're all here waiting for Dad. Hey, Lori. Sorry, I'm trying to see your names. As well as youth groups, churches, commercial entities, and civil service organizations. And good morning, Claudia. I'm trying to see all you guys' names. It's really bright out. We'll see. I'm going to flip you soon. Hi, Kelly. That can be seen from Spring Lake Park. It's beautiful out. The 30. sun is like in and out. You see the, the sky up above me. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, and it's not really hot, so which is awesome because usually Labor Day Parade, we leave here dripping. It's so hot. And Larry with his uniform. Oh my God, the poor guy. But they're talking blah, blah, blah. This afternoon. There will also be DJ. It's very blue. It's, it's a beautiful sky. Aloha, Desiree. So make sure after the parade you come on down to Veterans Oh, you missed them? This is, uh, so every town around us picks a holiday and that's the parade they have. Ours is always this one, the Labor Day. Yay, they're all clapping. I don't know what for. <laughs> I think Leah's going to stay for most of the parade. I just watch Larry and then I leave. I got too much to do. <laughs> I got embossing to do. Good morning, Sherry. I will be announcing here in front of the PAL the, the starting of our parade. And we also have um, Jay Buchanan at Borough Hall. Kind of boring just watching me sit here, right? There's nothing for you to see yet. But I'll flip the, the phone over soon. Happy Labor Day, Day Candace. And there's something oh, see, now here comes the bright sun. Those are the Ooh, sponsors. That's bright. The success of this parade would not be possible without They're finishing. The help um, of the they have a, a marathon kind of thing going first. And, and, and what is it? 5K. A 5K, and that's what's finishing right now. RMC Auto Body, Szechuan Kitchen, Two Rivers Coffee, Hey, Leah. I am excited for this afternoon. So when we get back to the house, um, I'm going. I'm embossing. While I'm doing the embossing, the kids are all going to pull the stuff and put it in a box for me. So we'll see what happens. I have a funny feeling they're going to love to stump me today. And they're going to pull like the most random shit that they could find. We'll deal. Washi tape. <laughs> Capolo's Garden Center. All right, Nicholas I'll mention Electric, it. <laughs> Monica, Nakusa, Bella, Kilo, when you go pick stuff, everyone's like washi tape because I never Let's use washi tape. I was planning on picking washi tape. You businesses. were planning on picking? Okay, okay well, Bella was planning on picking parade. some washi tape, so you're in. Here come the vendors. I hear something. You love Bella. I love Bella too. <laughs> my God. Oh my God. Look at this hair. I'm a boy. <laughs> I don't get to hang with my baby girl. She did the baby. They're starting to go now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting to get you live on Hi, Vaughn. Coming down the street. I'm trying to, to read all your comments, but it's tiny. Ah, thank you, Leah says you're beautiful. Officer Shane McCoy, Officer Meredith Ferguson, 
Officer Michael That's Simone. That's baby girl. I made and that. Officer Wesley Bow. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Our nation's colors to honor our Hold nation on. and those who have served to keep our nation strong and free. They also represent our finest and all other functions, and we appreciate all they do. Thank you. This is the beginning of the parade. Ladies Almost missed it. <laughs> one of the favorite things of today are some kind of this is our high school band. Very nice. I think my niece is in here. Oh, that's my niece right there. The tall blonde. That's my niece. Tori's sister. see your comments it's too bright out so just enjoy the parade all of the parade all of the parade <laughs> that's my group right here and 30 athletes who cheer game day for our Tigers. They have placed in many competitions and they do a great job. Oh, look who's heading now. Our South Lincoln. Thank you for all you do. I think I see Mr. Benjamin, Mr. Wright. Thank you for all you do. I think I see Mr. Benjamin, Mr. Wright. Madam Christine Gustino, who's the night hands on. Pete Smith, Bill Lamont. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. Let's give a big hand to our mayor and council. This is the Labor Day Parade in South Plainfield, New Jersey. For those of you that don't know, we're watching. My husband's going to be in it. He's the fire department. So if you're new, that's what's going on. I, I can't see all your comments for some reason. It's too bright out, guys. And hello to everyone I haven't said hello yet to. Nice Corvettes. What is like a little cor look at all the Corvettes there, Kevin? What's up with that? Kevin's like, oh yeah, nice. So you see the parade starts. This parade starts back there. That's where it starts. This is the Woodbridge Corvette Club. Oh, it's a Corvette Club. Nice. That's a nice one. I like this one. I like the original style better. Although, if somebody wants to gift me one of these, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Beautiful cars. Ooh, look at that burgundy one. Nice. Thank you for bringing these beautiful cars. I definitely like the burgundy. And the blue will match my eyes. Okay, I would I wouldn't say no to a red one either. Nice. Oh, here comes Babe. Everybody ready? Here he comes. My husband would just be so excited to see these cars, right? Okay, you got picture duty. Oh, look how handsome they all look. Let me just talk about our grand marshals, Bob and Marge Ackerman. Uh, they're celebrating their lifelong Look, commitment. That's Babe. That's Babe right there. He's waving. He's the first one. Hi. This is our volunteer fire department. Our town is 100% volunteer firefighters. Yay. With your contributions to our town over the years. You guys see Babe? Please, a big there he is. <laughs> Yay, go girls. Got it? Volunteer Fire Department is made up of members 
Uh, I gotta go give Babe a kiss. Ah, uh, that's the tradition. Doing this for 23 years. That's Larry's godson's children. There's a break. Oh, no, nope, here's more. Rescue's coming. They're a little behind. They're hurrying up. We were blessed to have, we are blessed to have a volunteer squad in town. And to have you with you and uh, are forever grateful to our These are all our engines. We appreciate everything they do for us. We have a couple more trucks coming to show all the good things we have here. This Calvi. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. I can't read any of your comments. All right. That's it for the fire department. And that's pretty much it for me. Let me flip you guys back around. Okay. So you saw the fire department. Let me get my keys. And you guys can walk back with me. The rest of the parade is really not that interesting. But All right, I'll show you this. Hold on. Bella's like, how can you not show them this? Hold on, I'm gonna flip you again. I'll see you back at the house. Okay. <laughs> I'm walking back to the house. Maybe now I can see your comments. I can't read most of your comments just yet because it's too bright. So we're just going to walk home. Good morning. You guys want to walk home with me? So you can see my street. So this is our street here. I'm walking in the street, of course. Usually it's not all these cars. All these cars are here because of the parade. People have guests. Like I have Tori and Kevin, so I've got two extra cars on my street. But this way you guys can see the front of the house. I hope you guys enjoy that. I can't wait to see the replay later because I couldn't see anything on my phone. So hopefully I was focusing correctly. And I'm like halfway down the block. Our, our street is a cul-de-sac. It goes all the way to the end. And then we have another little side street that's another side uh, cul-de-sac over here on the left. But we're getting closer. So the parade for me is over. I mean, they have other schools and they have like people doing things and comedians and... I'm over it though. I got stuff to do. 
Oh, you're very welcome for sharing. Of course I would share. Especially when it comes to babe. Well, there's our house. I could go on, on the sidewalk now. That red car is Bella's car. And she parks in the neighbor's driveway because the neighbor doesn't drive anymore. And she wants people to think there's somebody always home. So she asks us to park one of our cars in her driveway every day. So that's our house. Right there. That's my house. Not a big house. Modest. Look at my banana trees. Aren't they huge? Look how tall they are. Those are six foot fences. And look at my bananas. So that's the house. This is the front of the house. They're pretty flowers. We have our pot. I wonder if the frog's out. Let's see. I don't see the froggy. Oh! Nope, I don't see the froggy. Sometimes he's just hiding, but I don't see him. You guys want to see the backyard with these banana trees? They're huge. It's like a jungle walking into my backyard. Hold on. Look at that. This is just walking into the backyard. <laughs> Ta-da! Now we're in the backyard. But look at the size of these monsters. And the ones back there. No deer yet. They'll be here later. The grass needs to be cut. And this is our backyard. It's a little bit messy right now. But, all right, we're gonna go walk back through the jungle to walk in the front door. And then I can look at your comments. Ah, these things are huge, these leaves. And of course we have Mary. Hi Mary with her flowers. Hi Mary. Our swing without anything because if it rains, I don't like my, my stuff to get wet. My cushions. Alright. Here we go. And we are inside. <laughs> And this is the mess. I'm working on my embossing for you guys. I got everything a mess, but this will be cleaned up today. This mess from last night, which I'm going to get ready for the kids to come back. I'm going to flip you now. Hold on. Flip the camera. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let me get my glasses so I can read what you're saying. Because on the phone, it's so tiny. There you are. Oh, Remo, you're doing jars of tomato sauce. That's wonderful. I got to do that one day. Journal time. No, it's uh, embossing time. I'm, I'm going to make the embossing packets right now. Oh, thanks, Aja. It is. It's full of love and mess and lived in. <laughs> but, Yeah. Like this morning, we got dishes in the sink. So I got I got stuff to do. You could live in my backyard. Well, I wish I could stay outside a little bit longer because it's it's very soothing listening to the water out there. Oh my God, my hair's a mess. But um, it is what it is. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning and watching the parade. That was fun. Um, I can't wait to see the pictures. Tori took pictures of the, of the girls. I have to go back. And gather the pictures because I have a picture every single year. The only year we didn't take a picture um, was COVID. They oh well, actually it happened. They canceled the parade obviously for COVID, and then a couple of years ago they actually canceled the parade because there was a bomb threat. Can you believe that? We had a bomb threat, and the cops were coming down my street checking because when they were chasing the person, and he wound up throwing. It was on the news. Um, throwing one of the, one of the little homemade bomby things, um, behind my house, but my neighbor, like it was like literally back there. And it was basically like one of those handmade with like fireworks kind of a thing. You did get up early for, for babe. Thanks, Adam. I'm going to definitely let him know that. I know Desiree, if you guys Google it, 
Um, it was just some guy trying to scare. And then he, they threw one of them in like a school parking lot or something. And recently he just got arrested again because they were on the news. That was like three, four years ago. Um, a couple months ago, there was, what, there was fireworks. I think it was Memorial Day. Or no, 4th of July. That was the last holiday, 4th of July. And the same guys that got in trouble here, it was a guy and his son, went to the 4th of July, which is a town down in South Jersey, and they did the same thing. They had a homemade fire uh, fireworks, and the thing blew up, and somebody got hurt. Somebody got hurt, which, weird turn of events. So I worked with the ex-wife of the guy who's responsible for this, right? And in 4th of July, he went and did the same thing at a parade down south, and they arrested him. And the person that got hurt is somebody that Joy knows. Isn't that weird? It's like three, 30, what is it? Six degrees of uh, Kevin Bacon. Oh, thanks. They're driving me nuts. Hear them? I hear, I hear them making that sound and they're driving me. But they're 4th but they're of July-ish. So I'm wearing them. I'm going to wear them. You're making fresh pasta too, Remo? Ho, 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 ho. It is crazy, right? Aw, you always say I look beautiful. You guys are so kind. I look a hot mess. I, I, I didn't even put makeup on. All I have on is some Vaseline. That's it, because my lips are always dry from my diabetes. You love some Kevin Bacon. I'm jealous. I've never made pasta. Remo, you'd be very proud. I have a post. I made homemade fresh mozzarella. And uh, the mozzarella came out delicious. So I do. And we did it one, one time on my live. Everybody got the ingredients and we made fresh mozzarella together. It was so much fun. A um, couple months ago. So if you go back and look at my old TikToks, you'll see the, the post of us making the mozzarella. So that was really good. But I've never made fresh pasta. I think it's a lot of work. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping you meant beer, not beard. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Oh, with bread. <laughs> it was good. It was just good on its own with some uh, tomatoes and a little bit of balsamic glaze. Oh, my God. So delicious. Let me put you guys down so I don't have to hold this while I make my coffee. So now I don't need these because I only need these when you're close up to me. Oh, wow. The shirt makes my eyes pop. Hmm, pretty cool. I got my USA shirt on. So what are you guys doing today? Until 4 o'clock. I know what you're doing at 4 o'clock because you're going to be with me, right? Are you guys excited for later? I know the Corvettes were cool. I love the original, like the original style. I mean, the new style is nice, but the original ones are really cool. Making tags. Oh, you try. Oh, you have a cottage, Michelle. Cleaning. Diana, do we ever stop cleaning? Seriously. Oh, Claudia. Well, thank God for people like you because in the past, people with disabilities were just put in a home and left without any kind of stimulation. So thank you for what you do. You're going to be chilling until four. Let me grab the milk. Ugh. This is, we just got a fresh gallon. Going live. Oh, you're going live, Catherine? All right. If I get a chance to pop on. You know, I, I told you I watch you during my lunch sometimes because you, you tend to be live during my when I'm on lunch. And I just don't pop in because then I can't comment. But I do watch what you do. I'm always watching, Catherine. <laughs> Oh, you're on the swings. That's nice, Tosh. If they had a rose... Oh, my God. If they had a rose gold Corvette, I'd hop in the damn thing. Of course, Catherine. Mama's always watching. Mmm. <sighs> Why is coffee so damn good? Just fresh coffee. Nothing mocha chocolate, half decaf, calf. No. Full-blown. I like... Sumatran. Sumatran, it's a nice, strong, flavorful coffee. And 
you know what? I could probably go. I'm going to sit outside with you guys for a little bit and enjoy my coffee. Something I don't normally do. Why don't we do that? We'll go in the backyard and just chill for a little bit while I have my coffee. Because if I start working, I'm not going to drink my coffee. And maybe the deer will come. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll come and visit us this morning. Come outside with me. All right. Let me just shut the door. Coffee with Connie, just like we said. I'm going to sit in my gazebo. Hmm. Okay, let me find a nice little spot. Larry has all the pillows. I'm going to put you guys down so that that work. Mm, not there. Hold on. Oh, I know. I'm going to put you right here, right in the table. No, because you won't see me. Is that good? I'm just going to... These are the, uh, the pillows for the round table. So Larry just kind of, I, I don't like the, for, I know these are meant to be outside, but I don't like my pillows to get wet because I get nervous about mold. So I always have, at the end of the day, we always put the pillow, all the pillows away, except in here. And here we don't have to put away because it's protected, but these other ones we do put away. So I'm just going to make a little spot for us to sit. Okay. My flowers turned. Okay. Stay that way. All right. Okay. Coffee with Connie on a Monday. I'm not working. What? Oh, enjoy your granddaughter, Tosh. Thank you, Aubrey. Thank you so much. I could actually see what you guys are saying, so that's cool. Mm. Anybody else have a parade in their town? You can't hear me? Hold on. I wonder why. Probably because I might need a phone holder so that it's not blocking the bottom. That's where the speaker is. Is that better? Can you hear me now? My mama's good. I tried to get her to come here today, but she wouldn't come. You hear me now? Is it just Miranda or were you guys hearing me fine when the phone was down? Let's try, let's try that again. Miranda, it might be your phone. You might have to put it louder. Do you guys hear me like that with the phone down? Do you hear me? It's just her. Okay, Miranda, check your phone. Because it's it's not me then, honey. Ooh, that makes my legs look big. So we're just having a little bit of coffee. Chilling in the backyard. Something I don't get the chance to do. I feel it like getting a little bit warmer. Oh, crowds give you anxiety since COVID, Aja. I, I can understand that. A lot of people, especially if you see people with masks on, it probably makes you wonder like, oh, what the heck is wrong with them, right? I understand that. Oh, you said you can hear me. <laughs> see, my eyeballs. I, you know, I could see what you guys are writing because this is, this is reading glasses, so it wouldn't help me, but... Mama, mama's getting old over here. My God, every time the fall starts, I start to feel like a little, oh God, my birthday's coming around the corner. I'm just getting, I'm getting closer to that, that big number, you know? Oh, you get chemo every four weeks, Helen. What are you fighting, sweetheart? Ooh, I can't wait to see it. You turn 55, Sandy. Ah, I'm going to turn 57 in January. Nah, 57. That means I, I passed double nickels. I know, Catherine. I'm going to take my time, though. I'm going to take my time reaching 70. <laughs> 
you look great though, Catherine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, thank you, Aja. Oh, Connie. 62. I look younger? Well, thank you. Autoimmune. Recovering from renal cell carcinoma. Oh, I'm so sorry, Helen. I hope everything is good and comes out okay. Keep you in our prayers. You turned 57 two weeks ago? Oh, Yvonne, I'm the sixth. The day I'm, I'm the epiphany, the day of the three kings. Because I'm a queen. <laughs> Aw, oh, good for you, Leah. Good luck on your court date, and I hope you I hope you win. <sighs> That's uh, yeah. I'm in remission. To, well, I had breast cancer, and I had um, uh, it's called epidermoid carcinoma uh, in the face in my parotid gland. I had two cancers. Sixty two in November, Diana. You go, girl. Rock it. Fifty eight. Oh, Kelly, you're only a year older than me. Ah, uh, a year and a half. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dia de los Reyes. Exactly, Ivan. You're right. I'm supposed to get two gifts. A gift for my birthday and a gift because that's the day that the three kings gave Jesus frankincense, incense, and, more, and myrrh, right? Um, so that's the day you're technically supposed to exchange gifts. Yeah, that's the day. You had melanoma in your 50s. So, Catherine, you got to keep an eye on your skin. Make sure, because that shit comes back. You got to take care of yourself. Well, this is kind of fun. Chatting, and, you know, with coffee and in the morning. Yeah, definitely. Remo, I think I... Oh, happy birthday, Cynthia. Is it today? I thought I saw something on, on Discord about that, but I couldn't tell it when it was. I was trying to scroll back. Aw, oh, then happy birthday to Cynthia. I'll sing for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cynthia. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Adam, you can say no all you want. My ass will be singing. Oh, excellent. Enjoy your coffee. Cheers. I should have put this in, in either my um, my Puerto Rico cup or in the uh, Georgia cup, but I just grabbed the first thing that was on hand. And he wasn't snoring. Larry was wide awake. <laughs> he always looks handsome in his uniform. He does. He's one of the, you know that song? He's one of the good ones. He is. He truly is. I know I talk about him all the time, but I was very blessed. Now, mind you, Larry's my second marriage. My first marriage was not so great. But guys, let me tell you something. Had I not gone through that first marriage and everything that we went through, I would have never met Larry. Because of that first marriage is what brought me to the town where Larry is. Because my ex, his cousin, worked for Home Depot and they thought it would be great for me to go work at that store because they, they paid well and what have you. And that's what brought me into this town and put me on the path that I'm on today and the happiness that I have and I share with you guys and the wonderful man that I married and the wonderful father that he is. So he and Deb are extremely close. Um, he did. God, well, absolutely. Look at you, Adam, being all spiritual. What I'm, my point was, it's you don't know where, where your path is going until you get there, and sometimes not till afterwards. Like I had no idea until afterwards. And Larry and Debbie are very close. Yeah, most definitely was meant to be. I, I truly believe that. He, you know how they say some women marry their dads. The first time around, I did not. Um, I was being rebellious because I was I grew up in a very strict home. My parents were from Europe. Um, I wasn't allowed to date. I wasn't allowed I wasn't allowed to be a teenager. I was at the age of like 10, 11, I had to learn how to cook and clean because that's what my mom and dad knew. That's what my mom knew. you know she you raise your children to be like you to cook and to clean and all that stuff. work hard. My parents did great. But I didn't have the typical childhood. I didn't really play much, I must say. 
which is probably why I enjoy crafting so much now. Um, and, uh, and I don't resent my mom for it because I think she gave me a lot of qualities um, that I feel are qualities. Some people may think they're not qualities, but you know, the fact that I can run a household, that I can cook, I can clean, I, uh, you know, I feel like I'm a loving mom. I mean, sometimes nowadays I question that. Where's your, they're watching the parade. Um, but um, it was a different childhood for sure. My, my household as, as opposed to my household now, where I grew up and how my house is now. And I tried to explain that to the girls because we always want our kids to have more than what we had, right? And I didn't lack for much, don't get me wrong. My parents were hard workers and you know, they bought a house and paid it off and they bought cars with cash. They never had loans except for the house for, and that was paid off within years. I am a lot like my mom. I do, I do feel, and I try certain things I want to try and change that I don't want to impose. Like my mom is really good with the guilt trips and stuff like that. And so am I, to be honest, but I try not to be that way. I want to be better for my girls. Um, but I also want to hold them accountable and responsible for what they need to. They're a little spoiled. You guys know my girls are, everyone's spoiled. I spoil my girls, my friends, my, I spoiled everybody. It's just my loving, like I have a loving nature like that. And being old fashioned, I agree, Kelly, is not a bad thing. I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. The girls always throw it up in my face. Oh, you're so old fashioned. This is when I want to say, fuck you. <laughs> One day you're going to appreciate my old fashionedness, you know, but I kind of got off track on where I was going with my conversation. But um, yeah, so everything happens in your life for a reason and takes you to where you're supposed to be. You just don't know it until you get there. And sometimes I wonder like why people have such a hard road, like why why they have to struggle and, and suffer like a lot of people do. And I feel terrible about that. Oh, thank you, Diana. Do I see more of myself in Leah or Bella? Um, I see myself, myself, like personally myself in Leah. Bella, I see my mom and I also see my mother-in-law uh, in Bella's personality and um, the way she handles things. Um, but even though I'm a good person, um, I can also see through the bullshit. You know, I'm pretty good at that. And I call bullshit when I see it. I'm very straightforward. Maybe I'm too straightforward. Uh, I've been, not that I've been told, but sometimes you got to keep your mouth shut and keep your opinion to yourself. You know, it's, it's knowing when to do that and when not to do that. That's the key. Mm hmm exactly exactly you never learned that lesson Catherine <laughs> I know. it took a while for me to learn it I gotta be honest um, and it's so funny because I still catch myself yeah you gotta you gotta be able to it's not difficult to, you know what it is if you just sit back and watch the bullshit will relieve will reveal itself it always does it's kind of like that old saying you give somebody enough rope and they'll hang themselves, right? That's an old saying, but it's true. You just sit back. You don't have to add to it. You just got to watch. And eventually it all reveals itself. Oh, thank you for joining my team. Adam, you're private. Hey, Brian. Welcome to having coffee with Connie. We just watched the parade. Larry was, my husband was in the parade. So we just watched the parade and now we're just chit-chatting while I have a cup of coffee. And then I'm going to go do some, uh, some crafting and stuff. And I'm going to be on at four today. We're doing a special challenge. So if you guys are interested later at four o'clock, the kids are coming back from the parade and they're going to go through my stuff, pull supplies out in a box. And I'm going to do like a chopped, we're just calling it chopped. And I'm going to open the box and whatever's in there, I got to create something. And I have one hour to create something. So it should be lots of fun. That's a that's good, Leah. It is very hard to sit back and watch it all unfold. Uh, thank you for the gifts. Uh, but you know what? I'll tell you what, Leah. Sometimes I feel like uh, maybe... We give the kids too much. Uh, there's, I think there, there has to be like 
a level of how much you allow your child to really be involved. Because then what happens is they become entitled to opinionated. And sometimes they stick their nose, like sometimes kids don't know when to shut their mouths and not get involved because it's not their business. Adult business is not for children. Oh, uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, and I feel like sometimes, like there's certain conversations you should not have around your children. I feel that, oh, I think the kids are back. There's um, like, you know, how some people say, oh, what do you want for dinner? No, you don't ask your kids what they want for dinner. You make one dinner, you put it on the table and everybody eats together. That's how I feel, you know, because, yeah, it's easy to throw chicken nuggets in the in the oven and some French fries and feed your child. And then you and your spouse will sit down or your partner um, to eat dinner. No, you sit down. We still sit down, the four of us, to eat quite a few times a week. <gasps> the Blue Jay's here. You guys want to see the Blue Jay? Uh, thanks, Brian. Uh, we got to do our we got to schedule our live. Hold on. I'm going to show. Oh, he just flew away. Damn it. Hold on, let me see which I'm gonna I'm gonna switch positions so I could see where the birds are. And then if the bird if they come up, then I'll I'll I want you guys to see the cardinal and the blue jay is so pretty. But he is he just flew away into the tree. Ah, oh, yeah, politics. Yeah, you have to have limits. I see the, some of these parents, I, Leah actually sees it. She comes home and, you know, she watches two small kids. And when she tells me the stories of how these kids talk to her and what they say to her, and I'm like, man, those parents have to reel those kids back in. And, oh, there he is. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, gonna, I'm going to flip so you can see the blue jay. Okay, hold on. Where'd he go? I think he's in the tree. Hold on, I'm going to try and zoom in on him for you guys to see. Oops. Damn it. Sorry, I keep hitting the flip button. There it is. Okay, I think he's in that branch. Do you see him? He's moving. He's like, he's like right, he's right. Oh, there he goes. Where did he go? He was coming to that plate to eat off of that plate, but I think he flew away. Right over there is the crow. Yeah, you can't be friends. On the flagpole. Oh, good eye. There he is. So we definitely have a couple that are blue jays, and then we have two couples that are cardinals, because I have two red cardinals, the males, sitting here all the time. He's so pretty. I can't zoom in anymore. Maybe maybe if I be quiet, a little bit more quieter, he'll come back down here to eat. And maybe the deer, wouldn't it be so cool if we're sitting here and then the deer, they walk out, that's where they come out of my backyard jungle here. Oh, he just left. He just left. Exactly, Donna. Good morning. We're just chilling out here. Oh, there he went. Oh, there he is. You know where he's going? Oh, he's going to go to the cat house. Watch. I bet you he goes and steals cat food. Yeah. Well, yeah, the banana trees are in the ground. And we cut them down to the base, and then we put mulch on top of them, and then every year they grow. So we never t we never um, dig them up. Oh, thank you, Donna. I, I'm I'm he's I know he hears me, and he's trying to figure out where where's that sound coming from. But I bet you he's gonna go right there. That's that's Sonny's outside house, and he goes there, and he and if he sees food. That blue jay, only the blue jay does this. The blue jay will go and get food. I don't know where he went. Where did he go? Oh, yes, they will grow anywhere. You, you know that we have the four seasons. We get, we get like, you know, freezing weather. My fig trees never grow because the deer do eat the fig trees. But these banana trees, um, Ellie, 
you can see my banana trees are ginormous. Look how big they are. Yeah, all we all Larry does is he cuts them down to the root, down to the bottom, and then he puts mulch. They pretty much will eat anything. I'm going to flip you back over for a little bit so we can chit-chat a little bit more. But, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people ask me about the banana trees. We don't do anything but um, just chop them down to the base and then Larry puts some mulch on top, like about a good three or four inches to protect the top. But then the root ball, every year when it grows, it's like irises, it'll expand and expand. So you do have to trim them back. So what we did was we started with one and then we kept cutting pieces and repotting them throughout the yard. Now the next, I really want to put them on the other side of the pool so that we have a little bit, we have that privacy on that side of the pool too. So I think we might do that next year maybe, I don't know. Oh, definitely try them. Yeah, they work great. If you do put them in pots, those you have to bring inside because um, the pot doesn't have the protection of the ground and it will freeze the root. So they will work in pots and they will grow back every year in pots, but you do have to bring them inside. You can't leave them, especially if you get like, you know, 25, 17 degrees, you have to bring them inside because they will definitely freeze. No, Yvonne, we don't get fruit for them because it's not warm long enough for them to bear fruit. So right now they're going to start, they're starting to turn a little bit yellow because it's starting to get cooler at night. And then usually the first week of October, you'll, they'll start to droop. The very first frost, um, they'll be done. Then, they'll, then they the leaves will turn black and then Larry just starts cutting them and then we just put them in the back and then the animals use it for bedding or whatever. But yeah, it's not, uh, it's not warm enough in New Jersey, long enough to bear fruit. We get fruit from the tree, from this tree. I have, it's a nectarine tree, but I've only, I've never eaten a nectarine because the animals just eat everything. So I've given up on that. Oh, wow, Liam. Do you, do you make like fig paste or um, jam or anything like that? That's pretty cool. I like some figs. Larry, Larry can't eat figs, he, even though he likes them. Because he's got diverticulosis, so he can't, he's not supposed to eat anything with seeds. I'll tell you what, we'll go until 11 o'clock, and then my ass got to get inside and start doing some work. Oh, it dehydrates them. That's cool. That's a great gift. Because they're expensive. Oh, Blue Jay's back. along with other birds. I don't see the cardinal yet. I'll flip it if I see the cardinal. Oh, the girls are back. You guys have any plans for today? It's weird, it feels like Sunday. There he is. Hi, beautiful. Hold on. He's literally right in front of me. He's eating his little food. I am your plans for today. <laughs> oh, he flew off. That was a pigeon there. Oh. They're all waiting for us to put our food out. We usually go inside and then start clean out all the leftovers. Leftover rice, leftover french fries, whatever we have left over we put out here. It's starting to get warm because I feel it. Luckily, I didn't put any makeup on today. You feel the sun? Yeah, it's starting to get, it's starting to get a little warm. We might have to go inside and finish this inside where it's a little cooler. I don't need makeup. No, I do. Are you kidding me? As a matter of fact, I'm so bad. I was supposed to start last night the whole face treatment with the um, with the uh, serum that I made with the jojoba, the frankincense, and the castor oil. The girls are being silly. Okay. Girls are in. What, babe? Oh, I was just. I want to come inside and sit on the couch for a little bit. 
Oh, okay, you know where everything is. Bella's giving me the evil eye. <gasps> Don't lock me out. Isabella Del Negro. You're so sexy. <laughs> I think she locked my ass out. <laughs> we might have to go through the front door. <laughs> mess with them. They're going through my stuff now to do the, the box. Um, I don't, I like the sun, but I don't like to sweat. I don't like to feel uncomfortable. I like to get a tan, but like I'll go sit in the sun for two or three hours and then I'm done. Like I can't do it all day long. And you know what's weird? I, I actually, now that I think about it, when I was doing my fertility treatments before I had the girls, I wound up having a reaction to the sun. I would get like a rash, like a heat rash. And, um, it was very hard to like not itch it. So, um, or not scratch it rather because it was so itchy. And so then I started like not really liking being outside as much in the sun. You had a dream that Leah got married. My Leah? You know, my, my Leah is L-I-A because uh, her name is actually Angelia. I don't, if you guys, I don't know if you guys know that, but Leah's name is Angelia Maria. That's her name, Angelia. So we we do the last three letters, L-I-A for short. And Bella is Isabella Lourdes. Yeah. I know you do, Adam. <laughs> I do that. And then after, of course, having having uh, the cancer and going through menopause and all that stuff, yeah, being out in the sun, yeah, no. This is good because I I'm getting a little bit of sun as you can see, but I have the roof oh in my little gazebo canopy thingy here, so we're good. Yours is Leah Ann. Yeah, the only thing about her name that sucks is I can never find anything personalized. I have to customize everything. Because um, Leah is always L-E-A or L-E-A-H. And there's never Angelia. There's Angelina, but not Angelia. But that's okay. She's got a unique name. That's the way I look at it. Uh, your Brittany is spelled differently. That's exactly right, Brittany. Same for your daughter, Daz. What did you what what did the uh the cup of Graceland say? Ellie? Like we picked these beautiful names and then we're like, well damn, we can't get anything off the shelf. Everything's gotta be custom. Oh, with the L E H. Okay. I see L E A H a lot. You've got your coffee, Tammy. Oh no, Aja, never you'll never find that. That's totally unique. Bethany with an I E. Connie, but no Bonnie. Yep. Oh, Sherry Lee. I get it. But that's definitely going to mess with people. They're going to want to say Leah. Mariah. I think, Kelly, I think Mariah is more common now because of Mariah Carey. So I think like in the past, you know, 15 years or so, you probably find a lot more, even though Mariah has been around a long time. I think the name is more common, depending on how old your order, your daughter is. You might find a few things with Mariah. They're all pretty names. I know, right, Adam? Oh, really? Ca Caroline? You couldn't find Caroline a lot? Definitely more common now. Hey, Jenna, we're just having, we just watched the parade. My husband was in a parade this morning. So we're just having a little coffee and chatting. The kids are pulling a, a surprise for me. They're, they're making a chopped craft box for me. And at four o'clock this afternoon, I'm going to go live to do a craft chopped challenge. I'm going to open the box and whatever's inside the box, I have to use, it's like a mystery box. Um, and I have one hour to create something with whatever the kids pull. And I'm sure they're having a field day in there right now because it's Leah, Bella, my niece, Tori, and Leah's boyfriend, Kevin. They're all running rampant in the house right now. An hour. I have one hour to make something. Oh, I see. Yeah, one hour is not a long time. It will be fun. 
Oh, yes, Diana. Thank you for hanging out with us, babe. We'll see you later. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. I love a challenge. It makes your creativity juices flow. It makes you kind of be like, hey, this is what it is. I don't have time to, re like last night, you know, I kept reworking and changing my mind. Yeah, you can't do that. You got to make a decision and you got to stick with it, you know? The chop is going to be at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So it's, right now it's 10.52. It's almost 11. So five hours from now. Four o'clock, we're going to do our chopped. And it won't be a long live session, guys. We'll do the chopped. We'll chop for a little bit. But then I'm going to call it a night because I need to get stuff done. I need to work on things. Like what Hawaiian family gives their kid a French name. Yeah, we will definitely um, download it. My Leo always downloads my lives and it'll be put on YouTube. So ev eventually towards the end of the week, you'll see it. Middle towards the end of the week. Oh, okay, Ellie. Thank you so much, my love, for hanging out with us. That's a good question. Am I going to keep the questions off? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'll put the I'll put the um, the per the period thing on, and if there's an actual question, people can always ask. I don't have a problem with that. See you later, Sandy. I'm almost done with my coffee. I wonder how long should I give them? I think if I give them 15 minutes, that's more than enough time, right? See you later, Kelly, love. So right now it's 1053. We'll give them until 11 o'clock. I'm not giving them five hours to grab stuff. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> no, they're getting 15 minutes. Did I hurt my leg? Oh, no. This loveliness, my friend, uh, these are veins. These are not black and blues. I have varicose veins. I have ugly legs. I have very bad varicose veins. I'll show you guys. I'm not proud because, you know, it is what it is. Let me show you. I have really bad varicose veins. I don't know. I can't see. See back here? Like up here? Oh, this is a good one. Look at that. See that? The spider and varicose? Yeah. I have terrible, inherited it from my grandmother. She had varicose veins. So I have, it looks like black and blues. And like when I get pedicures and you know how they want to, I'm like, yeah, no. I, you just can do this. Do not push because it hurts. It hurts if you push on them. Yes, Leah, I can use anything that's on my table. So I basically have tape, glue, scissors, um, whatever's on my table. So whatever stayed on there from last night that I didn't put away, I'll be able to use. I didn't, you guys saw the table. I walked by it. It wasn't like I strategically planned and added stuff to my table. Whatever I used last night is still on the table. There's some paper. There's a couple of punches, you know, whatever for the, for the, for the wedding book. I know it looks like a black and blue, but it's not. These are my veins that will never go away. Some comments are being filtered. The cat can't help me. Well, he might hold the paper for me. I can't come in. I'm giving you guys until 11 o'clock. What are you closing the curtain for? Oh my God. They're closing the curtain on the patio door. They're really enjoying this. I'm telling you right now. Oh, it's doing good, uh, Sharita. I will do a flip through later at four o'clock. Oh, you have them too, Tammy, the Veracruz. Hi from the UK. Is this a new person? Let me see. Who is this? Pam, welcome. We're just chit-chatting right now, but I do crafts and we're going to be doing a craft later today at four o'clock, which is nine o'clock your time. Um, it's like a, a mystery box that my children, my niece, and my, and my daughter's boyfriend, they're pulling materials from my supplies, putting it in a box, and it's going to be like a challenge for me to see what's inside that box and make something with it later today. I am going to get it bad. Oh, I know. The varicose veins things. Um, yeah, I always wear... I like to wear stockings. I don't like to wear, like, dresses without stockings because because of them because you know i have ugly legs um 
And I know they talk about removing them, but I got to be honest. I'm really leery about doing that. I already had a blood clot in my leg once. I had a blood clot here, right here. And it was a, what they call an SVT, a superficial uh, vein trom uh, thrombosis. And, but it grew. It grew all the way to like here. And then I had to do shots in my stomach, Lovenox shots. To, um, and I had to take warfarin or Coumadin. I forget which one. I think it was warfarin that I was taking um, to break it up because it could have gone broke. A piece could have gone through into my, uh, my main artery here in the groin area and traveled up. And um, I, ha I lost a friend from a, a, a blood clot that she threw from her leg and it went up to her lungs and she passed away. So it's a serious thing. So definitely keep an eye on it, but I'm not going to mess with them. Not until they give me trouble. Oh, thank that's right, Pam. Okay. I remember now. Really? You had them removed four times? Did you do the collapsing? Because I know they do the injections where they collapse the vein, and then they do the one where they cut you up here and down here, and they kind of like like strip that vein out. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. Aw, thank you, Kelly. You're so sweet. So it's not even worth it, Tammy. Yeah, I'm just going to leave them alone. I just got to be careful because I remember being a diabetic, my grandmother, she would walk in the garden in Portugal and she would like scratch herself. And with the diabetes, it's really hard for sometimes for you to heal. I'm very fortunate because my diabetes is under control. That's key. So whenever I cut myself, I heal really quickly. But hers would become open sores and wounds and needed to be cured. It's like it was like an ordeal. I totally remember her going through that. And I do not want to go through that. Yeah, the injections. Okay. Well... I'm still young enough where I can make that decision down the road, I think. We'll see. I'm not that vain. I don't think I'm that vain. Oh, but yeah, I forgot to... I was Squirrel, I, got, I digress. I was talking about the uh, serum for my face. I was supposed to start it last night and I totally forgot. So every night, I have to go upstairs, wipe my face, and put the serum on it that I made. And then we're going to see um, every week... The progression, if it actually works, then what it does. It's supposed to help with the dark circles under your eyes. Supposed to help with the fine lines and discolorations, which I have. Once I strip my face, I'll show everybody again with my face stripped. Because, you know, I, I got no problem showing everything I got. Yeah, well, Aja, the castor oil is in the serum. So it's a mixture of, I think it's two ounces of castor oil, two ounces of jojoba oil, and 10 drops of frankincense. Um, and I put it in a, a glass jar, the brown glass jars. And so I'm going to put that on my face and see how that works on everything. So we're going to do it for 30 days. And I'm going to take, I don't know if I... I guess I could, I could try and do it. Um, I like the fact that when, well, Leah said I could do videos and then she can merge them for me because TikTok took away the feature for the 10 minute video where you could start, put it in your drafts, go back, continue, put it in your drafts. They took that away, which really sucks because I use that a lot. Um, but I'll just have to use the phone. Yeah, Tammy, I agree. Yeah, I'm not doing it. If they tell me, well, we're going to remove it and it'll be nice and clear, awesome. But that's not the situation. So, man, but when you do bump, because I always bump my shins like on sometimes at the office and whatnot, I get a nasty black and blue immediately. Aw, thank you, Yvonne. You're all beautiful people, too. I'm so glad I met you all. Oh, yeah, the wrapping. And, you know, like, uh, you're supposed to wear the stockings, the pressure compressed, uh, compression stockings. I can't put those bitches on. I'm sorry. If I have to wear, you know what I do? I wear a pair of leggings that are a little tighter. Like, I'll buy, like, a size smaller just to give me a little compression, and that's it. Oh, grape veins. I think those are called spider veins here. They look like spiders. You, it's this one, right? You have something like this. See right there? That's called a spider vein, which to me can look like a grape. Like a grape, you know, with the all over the place. Is that what you have, Pam? 
Oh, absolutely. I feel like I know you too, Sharita. And everyone, I I feel very, yeah. Yeah, we call those spider veins. Those, they can collapse with a needle. It makes them like disappear or something. So maybe that might be an option just to kind of lighten the legs up a little bit. But the ones like this, those aren't, those aren't, uh, these aren't spiders. These are like, these are like deep, just veins that are up superficial and they're big and ugly. That's a good tip. Baby powder helps put the compression stockings on. That's a good tip. But yeah, I feel like I know all you guys. I mean, sometimes I get your stories mixed up. They're, you know, like you are learning all about me and you know all about me. I'm learning about 80 to 100 people. Um, and I try to keep everybody straight. So if I ever mix you guys up or your stories, please don't get offended. It's not that I don't care. There's just a lot of you and you all know my memories for shit. So, but I try and I do care about all of you and the stories that you tell me and that you share me, the messages and the notes. Um, it's all important to me. You're a retired nurse. We are friends, Leah. And there's only one Adam. Yes, there is. They are awful. The stockings. Oh, my phone just went like, does that mean that my battery's going? It kind of went a little bit darker. I try. I try. But seriously, my memory is really not where it needs to be. And I do try to be genuine. What you see is really how I am. I, I don't have a persona. I don't, pre I don't pretend to be nice or kind. I am how I am. I'm usually like a nice, happy-go-lucky person. I have my bitchy days. You guys have seen me get angry with the post office um, and situations. I get pissed off like anybody else does. Um, I'm just a normal human being. But I don't want anyone to be alone. So if somebody out there feels like they're alone, you know, I feel like if I could do something to help, then then my day's done or my job is done. Oh my God, you're over six feet tall. Oh, Adam, you're so sweet. $700, would your insurance cover that? Because generally, if it's required, like the insurance should cover some of that. But if you have a deductible, then insurance is sucking that. In that, Yeah, I figured. Of course not. Of course not. Why would they, right? Um, I did. Well, if you go back on my YouTube channel, Pam, every Friday, I do uh, Friday finds right at the beginning of the, of the video. So if you go on my YouTube channel, if you see a Friday video and you watch it the first couple like 15 20 30 minutes is usually my hauls I, f I found a few interesting items over the past few weeks i'm cutting down a little bit because i have a lot of supplies so i'm cutting down and when i do go thrifting i will only pick up what i think are spe like special unique something that oh my god i'll never find this again kind of a situation six three hot damn That's tall, Mama. Can I come in? They they look, guys, they literally closed the curtain on my on my look. They shut the curtain on the door. Like they literally, they're like, yeah, you're not coming in. I wonder if they locked my ass out. Let's go see. Let's go see what's going on inside, shall we? <gasps> Alright, hold on. I have just a teeny bit of coffee left. All done with my coffee. Let's go see what the kids are doing. Dun 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 dun. Do do do. Do do do. <laughs> okay. First question: Is the door locked or not? Here we go. Freaking door is locked. I need to come in. It's too hot for me. Let me just sit on the couch. Huh? How many more minutes do you need? Like five. Five minutes. I think they're having way. Okay, you could come in, but you're banished to the front room. Do you want me to go in the front door? No, you can. They, they, we you're shut, good. We shut, I'm we good. Shut the box. You shut the box. Yes. Okay. Oh. Can I come in? 
Okay. Oh, you found it. Oh, that's a nice basket. Let me show everybody what they got. Holy cow. You can't look at it. Okay. That's a picnic basket. Yep. Go to the front room. You're okay. Banished. I'm banished. I got to go to the front room. Okay. We're going to the front room. Here's the front room. So this is where I'm staying. It's a little cooler now. Let me flip you guys around again. I'm going to try and flip you around. Okay. So they got a nice basket. They went and found their own damn basket. How about that? The room that you never see. Do you, do you see the giddiness? The giddy, It was like giddiness. But, um, yeah, so actually I had an idea about converting this room. Joy gave me this idea about taking the bar that's behind me when I craft and bringing that into this front room because we don't really use this room much. It's not, that, that basket is like 24 inches long. I wonder how much shit they're putting in there. No, not when you first come in because it becomes a mess, I feel like. But what I thought about doing was, one of my thoughts was, if I move the bar here, right, and keep the couch that I'm on, and then I could get like a wall unit that closes with doors, and then all my craft supplies could be put, like literally put away. Still against that wall, but at least it it won't be like an eyesore. I have a problem with um, with things looking messy. That's a good idea, Sue, but no, I can't close off this, this room because look, it's, it's the front door. Like you walk in the front door, you walk in here and you walk right into the house and everything's open. So you, you can't close it, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to walk in and be like a bar and a couch. And when we have parties, it'll be like a second room for people to just hang out in as opposed to everybody being crowded over there, you know? Yeah, so I, th I think it might work. I just have to give it a little bit more thought. And before I do this, I have a contractor coming this week because I'm going to redo the bathroom upstairs. Um, that's been on my agenda for a few years. It's, uh, it's from when we bought the house. So it's like 29, almost 30 years old. And I hate it and we need to redo it. And I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And I'm like, no, it's getting done. So this freaking contractor, I've been waiting for him for three weeks to come out. And if he doesn't come up here this this week, I'm gonna go look for another one, another contractor. Miss Connie. Yes. Um. So you are being instructed. You have to go clean up your space because it's still messy from um yesterday. So. Yeah, but I'm allowed to use whatever's on my table. Yes, I was but told. there's like scraps and stuff from your wedding books. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll put all that away. So let's go do that right now. Why do I have to do that right now? Because. But we're not we're doing the. But we're not doing that now. We're doing it at four o'clock. Oh. You pulled it now. And I'm doing it at 4 o'clock. Oh, okay. I got people coming on at 4. So right. at 4 o'clock, we'll go live. And I'll have my area clean. Look at her telling me to go clean up my space. The, Bitch, please. Why she just open it? No, they want... They, I can't open it until I actually have to do it. Oh. That kind of sucks. That sucks? Why? Because I thought you guys wanted to see her open it. Well, we might, be, we might still be able to. It's five hours from now. Or no. I don't know. Ooh, upstairs, my upstairs bathroom is not big enough to put a tub in. The upstairs bathroom has a tub that's 42 inches wide. It's like the weirdest size tub. And I tried getting bath fitters in here years ago and they couldn't do it because the tub was so unique. So I'm torn between keeping that tub and not. Just like my kitchen sink, my kitchen sink is huge. It's, it's like 20 something inches. Um, no divider. I love it to put big pots and stuff in it. So it's original from when I bought the house and I won't, I won't get rid of it because I can't find one like that anymore. So I'm debating. I think I might rip the tub cause we have a full tub down here. So we, I think upstairs I might rip out the tub and put, um, a stand and shower, you know, you know, just like with the doors. It's not a claw foot tub. I'll show it to you because, well, if the house is messy, you guys will deal. You know that, you know that I'm real. Here, let me show you the bathroom down here. So this is the bathroom down here. And it's got like, Mom, what? Where's your fabric? Oh, the fabric is downstairs um, in the drawers. There's three drawers on top of where the books are. And it's downstairs. 
So this is the this is the um, downstairs closet. Well, it's got a, clo a big closet filled with stuff. So this is our downstairs bathroom. Now I'll show you the messy upstairs. This is our office, which you guys have seen. That's Larry's side. This is my side, and I had so much stuff here, but this is all now. It's been cleaned up. I just need to tidy it up a little bit. Um, all my books, paper, all that good stuff. Um, but I'll take it upstairs to see the what I call. Oh, let me put my glasses so I can see what you're saying. Hold on. Okay, going up the stairs. See, that's the bathroom up here. This is the original bathroom. Hate it. Look, the kids left this open. But I have this, like, this is a really tall, tall, tall cabinet. And then there is, behind the door, there's these itty-bitty, like, short, short, short. But the tub is, like, ugh. But you see how it's, it's like a short tub. It's 42 inches. It's crazy. So I definitely want to redo, kind of make it more like downstairs. I like the earth tones. You want to see the chinchillas? Alexa, turn lights on. Okay. Here she is. Hi, mama. Are you sleeping? Hold on. I'm looking at the chinchillas. Hi, baby girl. Okay, I'll be right down. Hi, baby girl. How are you doing? My chichi mama, my chichi mama. Hi, chichi mama. Do you want to give me kisses? Hold on, you want to give me kisses? I'm going to flip her so you guys can see her kissing me. Hold on. You want to give me kisses? Oh, kisses. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, the chichi mama. Is that my phone? You say hi to everybody? Say hi. You want to see how cute? Watch this. How cute is that? She lifts her little paw up because she likes to get rubbed right there. Does that feel so good? Does that feel so good? Oh, Chi Chi likes that. Chi Chi likes that. How cute is she? The cat likes to sit up on top, on top of the... Uh, so hold on. We're just doing roll call. I'm going to see Snowbally. Where are you? Where are you? Where is she? I'm looking for the white one. She's probably Is in she there in her bed? In She's probably in No. Why don't you open it? Hold on. I'm looking to see where this where Snowball the white one is. I don't see her. Oh, there she is. Hi Snowbally. Hold on. I'm going to show you Snowball. Snowball, snowball, come here, give me kisses. Give me kisses. You're not coming. Chichi came over and gave me kisses. Snowball, come here, snowball. No. Probably nervous because you're showing a phone there. Okay. We had gerbils and guinea pigs. Okay. Back downstairs. All right, did you guys have fun? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, God. Any last words? Are you guys going to be here at 4 o'clock? I will. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we are going to sign off. I'm going to flip you guys over if I could get this thing to flip so I can continue working. My goodness. My fat fingers. <laughs> my knees started dancing for you. All right, my friends. Listen, thank you for hanging out with me this morning and having coffee and watching the parade. Um, look who's ready. Yeah, he's ready for the challenge. Be funny if they put him in the basket. But I will see you guys at 4 o'clock. It is now 11.16. So 4 o'clock, I will see you for our craft chopped challenge. Ooh. <laughs> All right, guys. 
Adam, go take a nap. I know you're tired. You've been up since early, early. Thank you so much for hanging out. I love you guys, and I'll see you in a couple hours. Enjoy this afternoon, okay? Kiss, kiss. Big hug. See you later.